When Susie Esterhaus and I started Big Picture 10 years ago, we were driven by questions like, what makes photography a unique and powerful medium for connecting people with the natural world? Also, what makes a great photograph? And how can an image help shape the world? The answers have been surprising. And we've seen some really amazing images over the last years in every category. From microscopic images and abstract patterns in art of nature, to stunning views of melting glaciers, underwater caves, and erupting mushroom spores in landscapes, waterscapes, and flora, from birds and insects in flight and winged life, to deep dives and tender portraits in aquatic and terrestrial life, and unexpected connections in human nature. These images are not only beautiful, they're an opportunity to see things differently in a way that's relevant to science. As scientists, we can learn so much, and discoveries have been made just by looking at pictures. Sometimes a photographer can capture a moment, a behavior, put that behavior in context, and illuminate a connection you might not have seen. These images also have real-world impacts, like the iconic image of the Cougar P-22 against the Los Angeles cityscape that raised awareness and millions in funding for a wildlife corridor to bridge over an eight-lane freeway, to the image of 232 wild birds caught and killed by domestic cats, to the final moments of Sudan resting his head on his long-term caretaker for one last time. Big Picture has been ongoing for 10 years, and the need for images like these to be created and shared is becoming ever more urgent. As a photographer, I often ask myself, how do these pictures that I'm creating really meet the moment that we're in? Considering biodiversity loss, climate change, all of the rapidly changing things happening in our world right now, it is so critically important that these images included in big picture circulate widely because they have the capacity to change how people see the natural world and really start rethinking their relationship to it. I hope that through these images, all of us really start to see how we are such a part of nature. We're not separate from it at all. Saving nature is really about saving ourselves.